This video is for class 7 geography. In the previous videos, you have already learned about industries. You have learned different types of industries and some factors which are very much responsible for location of an industry. Today, we shall learn something more about industries. That is, we'll have a look at some important industries of the world. Okay, so firstly, one of the most important industries of the world or in India is the iron and steel industry. Okay, now why iron and steel industry is one of the most important ones? That's because all the other industries are directly or indirectly dependent upon iron and steel. Okay, for example, the machines that are made and used in different industries, the basic product or material required to make those machines is nothing but iron and steel. If you want to build a huge structure, then to lay the foundation, you need iron, right? If you want to build railways, if you want to build any form of infrastructure, say bridges and all, for everything, iron and steel is required. And that's why this is the premier basic industry in the world. Okay, and this is a heavy and bulky industry. That's because the raw material that it, that it uses is also very heavy. Okay, iron is very, very heavy. And the final product or the finished product is also very heavy and bulky. Then iron or coal is used in large quantities. Okay, for making iron ore, coal is required. At the initial stage, when iron ore is mined from the mining areas, it is in its raw form, it is in its crude form, form, right? So that has to be processed further. So for processing of iron ore, coal is required in order to refine that ore and to extract pure iron ore steel. Then, Finished product is also completely heavy as I mentioned, okay? So iron is a very heavy industry. Then the main centers of iron are located in these red parts which I marked on the world map, okay? So in North America, USA is very much known for its iron and steel reserves as well as iron and steel products. Then in South America also, like parts of Argentina are known or Brazil are known for their iron and steel. Then in Europe, there are some countries which are again known for the iron and steel production. Egypt is also here. India, you know that in India, even in Goa, there's large amount of iron ore mined. Okay. Then eastern parts of Asia, especially China, okay, and even Japan is known for its iron and steel production. So this is how the major iron ore producing regions are distributed in the world. Moving on, the next important industry is nothing but a fiber industry that is cotton textile industry. Okay, now cotton is in great demand throughout the world because of the fiber that is natural. Okay, and it is very much suitable for our skin. It is very much friendly to the skin. That's why this is in demand throughout the globe. Earlier, cotton textile or cotton cloth it was made with the hand, with the help of hand looms okay the picture that you see right now is nothing but a wooden structure which is very very simple which was used to make cotton cloth okay everything was done manually with intricate work but later because of the industrial revolution these hand looms were replaced replaced by power looms okay they were replaced by machines so nothing had to be done manually the cotton cloth production or textile production was done by huge machines itself okay with a single click of a button meters and meters of cloths would be produced then the the industrial revolution it began in great britain okay that is in uk and from there it spread to the other parts of europe it even spread towards the west in usa it arrived in asia in china india and japan and from there it became famous throughout the world 
So these are the main centers in the world where you'll find cotton textile. Okay, in US there are cotton textile. If you see in Europe, there's France, Germany. Okay, there's Belgium, Italy. There's Turkey here. Then in Asia you have India, China, Korea, Vietnam, Bangladesh. There's Pakistan. There's Philippines. There's Indonesia, and then Ethiopia in Africa. Okay, now in India, Mumbai is very much famous for its cotton textile. Okay, and that's why it's also known as Cottonopolis of India. Mumbai is known as or nicknamed as Cottonopolis of India because of its large scale cotton production. Okay, and cotton textile production. Now, why Mumbai is very famous for cotton? That's because cotton grows very much ideally. Luxuriantly in Mumbai. Firstly, Mumbai has a coastal location, okay, and that's why it has a warm, humid climate, which is very much suitable for the growth of cotton. And spinning of cotton yarn also becomes very easy because of this climate. Secondly, there's water available in large quantities around Mumbai, and lastly, Mumbai has a huge amount of black soil okay maharashtra has a huge amount of black soil or lava soil which is very much suitable for the growth of cotton then besides mumbai besides maharashtra there are other states where cotton or cotton textile is produced like gujarat west bengal tamil nadu and uttar pradesh then another fundamental uh, industry in the world which is growing on a large scale nowadays is the information technology or the IT industry. Okay, so this particular industry is dealing with the science of hardware and software. Hardware refers to the computers, okay, the physical computer, its mouse, its keyboard and the software refers to the pro programs that make, that make the computer function all right so this hardware and software or computers along with their programs they are used for processing information computers are used for protecting that particular information they are used to secure that information to store to receive new information and to retrieve that information whenever we need all right so this data feeding data exchange information exchange storage of that information or data is nothing but it or information technology now the world famous it industry is located in the us okay in the santa clara county and which is also nicknamed as the silicon valley okay so this is one aerial glimpse of that area of the Silicon Valley, which is world famous for its information technology industry. Then, India's Silicon Valley is nothing but Bengaluru. Okay, Bengaluru, a mega city which is located in Karnataka, India, is also very much famous for its IT industry. Then, Next, we have the sugar industry. Again, a very much important industry throughout the world. And sugar has a great demand everywhere. All right. So sugar is extracted from either sugar cane. Okay, here you have the picture. Or either from sugar beet. Okay, these are sugar beet. So sugar can be extracted both from sugar cane and sugar beet. They are the main raw materials required. Sugar cane is mostly grown in tropical parts of the world, okay? And sugar beet is mostly found in temperate parts of the world. So in Asia mostly, in the tropical portions, in India also, sugar cane is grown. Then in parts of Europe, in USA, sugar beet is grown in order to extract or process sugar. And these are the major sugar producing areas in the world. Okay. Cane is grown in the central part of the both American continents. Okay. Then you'll find it in Africa. Okay. You'll find it in large scale in India. You'll find it also in the southeastern part of Asia. 
then sugar beet the blue dots that you see they are found in brazil and south american continent okay you'll find them mostly clustered in the parts of europe okay and few parts of china here which has temperate type of climate then another industry which is very much famous is the ship building industry okay now what is ship building industry industry that is involved in manufacturing ships yachts and even cruise liners okay so all the oceanic vessels which are produced on a large scale in bulk is referred to as the ship building industry then now this is a picture of a shipyard okay a shipyard is a place where ships are made or manufactured in goa we have a shipyard at marma goa okay which is very much famous and known as the shipyard of goa where ships are actually made or constructed then china is the world's largest ship building industry okay it's known for its ship building industry and besides china the japan south korea india germany france netherlands these are the countries in europe okay and in india at visakhapatnam kolkata all right which is in west bengal kochi in kerala mumbai in maharashtra all these have coastal location why ship shipyards have a coastal location that is mainly because ships are huge and colossal in size right transporting them from the interior parts of the country to the coastal areas would be very very practically difficult that's why ship building industries are located along the coastal areas where they can be easily shipped exported then here you have the fishing industry okay fishing industry is nothing but that one which is involved in catching fish okay for commercial purpose and this caught fish is exported throughout the world okay plus wherever it is fished out there also it is consumed locally now fishing can be largely divided into two types we have marine fishing and inland fishing marine fishing is when it is carried out in the open ocean or sea and inland fishing is when fishing is done in lakes or ponds or rivers in the interior parts of the region or land that is known as inland fishing and these are the major areas in the world where fishing industry very much operates on a very large scale okay like the northeastern part of pacific ocean northwestern part of atlantic ocean northeastern part of atlantic ocean then you have the area of the ocean that surrounds japan okay then you have the northwestern pacific okay here you can notice a clear trend all these fishing grounds they are mostly located in the temperate parts of the world okay that is because in the temperate regions the water is quite cool it's not very very hot and it's not very cold like the arctic regions but here in the temperate regions water is cool and this cool water contains huge amount of plankton's which is fish food that's why fish is found in abundance in these areas only and on a very large scale and these are some common fish caught there which have a great demand like herring cod fish you must have heard of this fish many times this halibut also mackerel then the next type of industry that you have here is the automobile industry okay now this is the industry which is involved in designing developing manufacturing marketing and selling motor vehicles okay it can be four wheelers or it can even be three wheelers all right it can be bus or truck or even big cars tiny hatchback cars so all these are nothing but automobiles or they come under the category of automobile industry 
कि ना ऑटोमोबाइल इंडस्ट्री इज वेरी मच स्प्रेड मोस्टली इन द डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज ओके लाइक यूएसए द डार्क ब्लू एरियाज आर द प्लेसेस वे ऑटोमोबाइल इंडस्ट्री इज लार्जली मैन्युफैक्चर ऑफ फॉर्म सो यू हैव योर यूएसए देर आर पार्ट्स ऑफ ब्राजील ओके देन योर दैट स्पेन दैट जर्मनी दैट यूके China here it's shown in dark blue color, which means they produce a large number of automobile. Hmm? Okay, so with this we come to an end with our industries chapter.